If it wasn't for gambling, you would not be watching this video, okay? You yourself are addicted to gambling. I know this is like a very strong start, but hear me out. A lot of people think that gambling is just, oh, you walk into the casino and then, you know, you, you know, give them like a thousand dollars and then you lose all of it. And then that's really bad. That's what gambling is to most people. And okay, fair enough, right? But let's ask the a real question. Why do people like gambling so much? What makes gambling so addictive that these people who are literally losing their life savings, right? Is because gambling has a strong hold on them and the reason for the stronghold is because of how gambling affects your psychology okay so this is mainly going to be a video about why games include gambling or if you're like thinking of making one why i think you actually should include gambling like i know this sounds weird but like look gambling if done right actually is not a bad addition to a game and I'll, i'm gonna prove why in a second first of all let me explain what i meant by saying that oh yeah you wouldn't even be watching this video without gambling the essence of gambling right is that you don't know what you're gonna get next right the essence of gambling is that a lot of the stuff is kind of bad 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 but it keeps you there. It keeps you hooked because you know that there's a possibility that the next thing might be really good. That's what the human brain basically works. If it can predict the next outcome, it basically says, not interested. I'm very bored, right? This just isn't worth my time. So for example, with YouTube, and if you're wondering why my thumbnails are blurred, it's because I use an extension. It's because I'm smart. I don't let this stupid website take away my focus. But it's like, again, you know, if I scroll here, right? obviously, you know, a lot of these videos will differ to yours because this is just stuff that I watch. A scripter or something, NC Capitalist something, Piano something, <laughs> uh, Jojo spoilers. <laughs> There's so many things here, right, that are basically just unrelated. And this is what keeps people coming back to YouTube. Basically, you go through so much of this content, which actually isn't something that you'd want to watch. It's like, bro, I'm not about to watch the Despicable Me 4 extended trailer, right? I don't know what Will Wood and the Tapeworms is, right? So many of these videos I actually would not watch. But there is that one occasional video which I will just have a full red bar on, right? There's that occasional video that just makes me feel like it's worth watching, right? And just like gambling, there's that occasional chance to make a million dollars. And that's exactly what keeps people hooked and coming back. And while like, I'm not sure if YouTube like does this whole gambling thing on purpose, I know for a fact Instagram has this exact thing, which by the way, Subnautica underscore man bro, follow me, look at me bro, I'm, I'm insanely hot and everything. If I go through these honestly brain rot reels, right? Ignore his style, how would you dress your boyfriend? I like women bro, Korean girls. I don't even know why I'm getting this, right? Instagram knows exactly what I like, okay? The longer you spend on these apps, Instagram, TikTok, maybe even YouTube shorts, I'm not sure though, right? It's literally coded inside of their algorithm, right? That like, as you keep on scrolling, they intentionally make, you know, the content that they give you worse and worse. I've never watched videos like this. I've never liked videos like this. I've never stayed like on a video like this. But then it's like as I scroll and as I keep scrolling, oh, there we go, right? Skits. I actually really love skits. A lot of the videos that I like and comment on and continuously watch on Instagram are stuff like this, just funny skits. Instagram knows that I like this. So what they do is they throw in a bunch of garbage but then they throw in that occasional, that rare but guaranteed video that, hey, this is something you like. Because their job is just to make you as hooked as possible. That's their job, right? They don't care about anything else. So the way they keep you hooked is by using a gambling system, right? A bunch of garbage content, garbage, 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 in the same way that you lose money, you lose money, you lose money, boom, you make money. I don't even know who this guy is. I've never seen him, right? But like, it makes you want to go and go again and just continue to make, become cold and heartless in the next seven days. Yeah, Instagram. That's exactly what I watch. That's exactly my type of video. In fact, this is even present with speech, right? If you can predict the next thing that I'm going to say, and I actually say it, like, for example, right now, if I'm like, if you predicted the fact that I was going to switch onto Roblox Studio and talk about what I just said right now, your brain would immediately be like, oh, we know this guy, right? We understand what he's going to say. We can predict it, meaning that we don't have to continuously listen to him, right? It's the same thing of like how, like, if you're living like with your family right now, or like with some roommates, right? You don't continuously pay attention to them. You know, if you walk in and your roommate is like sitting they're on the couch your brain doesn't care okay whatever go to the fridge get some food go back downstairs whatever but then imagine if you walk in and on your couch is kevin hart okay i don't i don't know why kevin hart but like imagine if kevin hart was on your couch right you'd immediately pay a lot more attention that's because it's unexpected you didn't expect him there and when it comes to advertisements that's exactly what these companies want they want your attention they want your interest right and that's also why some of the most interesting videos 
always keep varying their speech. That's why they always keep on switching between topic to topic. That's why every thumbnail tries to stand out and be as interesting as possible. Have you ever actually wondered what makes something interesting? Because you clicked on this video and because you're still watching, you're likely finding what I'm saying interesting. Because I've done a good job at hooking you and then continuously captivating your interest up until this point. And if I ever get too boring in this video that makes you click off, it's always going to be because you start to predict me. So then imagine a game that is exactly like that. Let's say we have a button, okay, just a basic text button over here. And whenever I press this text button, we're going to summon an explosion inside of the spawn location, okay? So actually, very simple stuff, right? Just, you know, scripts.parent.activated, you know, connect function whenever the button is pressed. We're just going to create an instance.new explosion, okay? And we're going to parent it to the workspace.spawn location. And look, I know I'm doing this in like a local script and I'm not like doing a remote event and then I'm not like, you know, sending a message to the server, which in case you don't know what I just said, but you're interested to develop, I'll just do a quick plug in, in the link in the description. I have my course, which is hopefully as interesting as this video for you. So you can go preview the first couple of videos of that course and just see if you're willing to spend like 40 bucks on it. If we make the game like this, where I press the button and we get an explosion, if every single time we're getting this explosion, which it's looks, it looks a little weird right now, right? But like every time I press the button, an explosion happens. Would you play a game where you know for a fact that you do something and something happens? You act, you wouldn't do that. Every game at some level has a degree of gambling, right? It might not be the actual gambling of like, oh yeah, I press it and it has like a chance of happening, right? But gambling can be even in forms of like fighting other players, right? Would you play a PvP game if you always knew that you were going to win? Do people who play Apex Legends, would they play the game knowing that they would win every time? Or do they play knowing that most of the games are going to lose, but there's going to be that one game, that one amazing game where they just push through and get that final, like, you know, victory royale? Because, bro, I have like 500 hours in Apex Legends. I should know, right? Like, it's very addictive. I would lose most of my games, but that one game out of like 50 where I would finally win and get that amazing victory. I promise this is the only factor that has caused me to sink 500 hours into this game and also like 100 bucks. And we can literally apply this to our own game right now. Okay, if I go to local script, right? Okay, we're making the explosion, blah, 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 whatever. Let me cut this, okay? So I'm gonna make it a random number from let's say one to 100, honestly, let's spice it up a bit. And then let's say if random is equal to one, then we're gonna do the explosion, okay? Basically, the explosion now is a 1% chance, okay? And then else we're gonna print, um, I don't even know, what are, what are we gonna print? Button. And so now whenever I press the button, look at that, I gotta, I gotta get the explosion. There we go. I know it didn't look like it, but I genuinely had infinitely more fun doing that than just knowing that like, oh yeah, I'm going to get the explosion. Because like I said before, when your brain knows that it's going to get something, it immediately says, not interested. Okay, if I know, well then, okay, that doesn't matter, right? I don't need to know this, right? Because it's like I said, if you walk into your room and your family is there, you don't care. But if you walk in there and it's like Kevin Hart, you're like, what is going on? You know, like, why? But why do you do that though, right? Because it's unexpected. And so it makes your brain sharp, attentive, and present. And you know who loves this? advertisers. And you know who loves this even more? Game developers, because that's who you give your money to. But what I'll say is as a game developer, you effectively have two options here, right? So the first option is if you want to be a little more scammy and, you know, add all of the stuff like loot boxes, you know, microtransactions, like, you know, some sort of like pet shop, because honestly, that is actually what will get you more quick term success, right? More money now. Now for the long term, what will matter is like the actual quality of your game. So if your game is just meant to be a quick cash grab, obviously it's not going to have any like long term results. But like if your goal is, you know, either to make a cash grab or if your game is high quality, but you just want, you know, to make money right now, then stuff like loot boxes, stuff like, you know, like rarity un unlocks, whatever would be a good idea for you. And the funny thing here is that like in my course, which I'm not even trying to plug right now, right? There's literally a rarity system that I teach in my course because I know that that's what people like playing right? Every single popular game out there has some sort of gambling system. It might not be like a literal gambling system where like, oh yeah, I press a button and an explosion might happen, but it might be weaved a lot more into the gameplay, which is actually a perfect segue into the second way of adding gambling to your game, which is basically just integrating it with gameplay. So I'll give you a great example, right? In the game Subnautica, you basically just swim around on this alien planet and it's all fine and nandy until you swim a little too far and suddenly you hear this very aggressive roar beneath you. It's fairly 
really quiet so it doesn't sound like it's an immediate danger yet but just the fact that you hear the roar means that something is here doesn't it just feel a lot more exciting than just knowing where that big fish that made the roar is when you're in the murky waters and you, and you have no idea if you're about to be jump scared or not you don't even know where that big fish is but imagine if you just had like a mod that just highlighted all the fish like imagine if you could just look down you know through the murky waters and just know like oh okay he's right there okay that's still kind of scary but it does ruin the excitement that you otherwise would have gotten from literally having no clue what's going on because that's exciting because it's like i said before the brain stops caring when it can predict something i guarantee that every single person who clicked off this video already because of boredom has basically predicted at least one thing that i said and then their brain immediately went like okay this guy isn't worth listening to because I know what he's about to say, so let's click off. And so you wouldn't want the same effect with your game, right? You wouldn't want your game to be like an instant, okay, well, if I do this, then this happens. That's boring, right? That's a boring game. I don't want to play that. Like, imagine playing Fortnite and knowing that you're going to win every single time, right? That's just, I don't know, like, it, I sure it might sound fun right now, but eventually that's just going to get boring. It's a lot more fun to play wanting the big reward, but it's that drive towards getting that dopamine and getting that, you know, feeling of success. That's what pushes you to continue going, whether that be in gambling, gaming, or I don't know, like watching content. In fact, whenever I really want to sell my course, this is actually a tactic that I use as well. Because like, imagine if I wanted to sell my course to you, right? And I just said like, um, okay, well, it's uh, six hours, uh, six and a half hours long, actually. And it costs $40. And uh, the course price is actually going up soon. What if instead I said like, <clears throat> imagine your whole family gets kidnapped. Imagine if the kidnapper says, hey, bro, hey man, I'm only going to let them go if you know how to use Roblox Studio. And then you're sitting there thinking, damn, if only I could uh, learn Roblox Studio in six and a half hours. And then I appear in front of you magically and I say, you got $40. <laughs> okay, I mean, that was kind of a shitty sales pitch, but you know what I mean. You can hopefully agree that that was infinitely more engaging than if I had just like listed out everything about my course. And so, like I said, use this in every single part of your life, right? It doesn't in games in um, interacting with other people, you know, literally, if you want to get girls, bro, this is how you do it, okay, you just gotta stand out, you can't be that guy messaging her in her DMs, like, hello, girl, you're so pretty, I love you, kiss, kiss, like, bro, don't do that, <laughs> you know what I mean, you gotta go in being different, because everything in life gets given to that guy who's the most irreplaceable, you know, you hopefully you found some value, hopefully now you're gonna be an amazing, you know, a very fun, very irreplaceable person, because you learned about gambling from a roblox youtuber and speaking of gambling when you click on the subscribe button there's a chance that it like lights up and does some funny animation so there you go bro you can gamble right now by subscribing to my channel and as always we are back to basics thank you for watching